Hey guys, what's up? Mike Heard 360 and uh, appreciate you tuning in and hopefully I can teach you a little something. I'd appreciate if you guys would go and watch my other YouTube videos and subscribe to my YouTube channel. All right, so let's get started. Why are we here? All right, I got a solar panel. This is a 12 volt, 10 watt solar panel. Really a 12 volt panel, not a 12 volt panel. By industry standards, it's gonna be an 18 volt panel or 17.6, that's your working voltage. Uh, and that's what's used to charge a 12 volt battery from a solar panel. Of course, you would want to incorporate a solar charge controller. The open current voltage on these things is going to be about 21 to 23 volts. Uh, and what I want to show you today, I hope is going to answer some guys' uh, questions. My sun is going down. It's four something in the afternoon, so I'm starting to lose light. And it's not the best time of the day, really, to do this. Uh, I get... A lot of questions about um, shade and how you know will my solar panel work I got light that comes sun that comes down through the trees I think it's gonna work uh, maybe it will maybe it won't it's just really really hard to say because if you uh, if you're using a lot of battery power which is you know your solar pack or your solar panel system is going to be connected to a battery the battery is going to power the camera and then the camera is going to uh, or the solar panel is going to recharge those batteries. So if you use too much battery power and your solar panel cannot produce enough output to recover, then it's not going to work. It's going to go dead. So let's take some readings, and I want to show you just how this stuff works, how it affects the, the uh, output of the solar panel. So what we got, make sure I'm going to get my wires hooked back up here. And let's see, put this in voltage. We're going to take some readings. All right, first reading I'm going to do, I'm going to try to get this panel facing perfectly at the sun. Let's see here. Now, this panel's had some time to heat up because when they first, when a panel's cold, it's going to put out a little more power than when it's heated up good. All right, so you got to get it just right. See that. You gotta find that sweet spot, spot there. 21.5. All right, I'll we'll write that down. We'll write it down under full sun FS. 21.5 volts. Now we're gonna take a reading, and I'm gonna prop it up on this battery just for consistency's sake. Uh, now the sun's hitting it at an angle. This panel, you can see, I can cast a shadow on it. Panel. A lot of people say, well, it's in full sun. Uh, but you see the voltage has dropped some, 20.5, full sun angle, 20.5 volts. All right, now let's see how the, the shade affects it. So uh, I'm going to take this branch, you know, just kind of simulate a, a woods environment. What I really want to show you is it's not going to change as much as you think on your voltage. But the voltage is not your, that's not your power. That's not what gets the work done. All right, so 20.1. All right, now let's get it angled perfectly, as close to perfect at the sun that we can. Look at there, I got it just right. I got a 21.6. All right, now I'm going to cast a shadow across it now I'm down to 21.1 all right 21.1 all right now let's uh let's take some readings of the power, the amperage that the, the panel is going to put out because using Ohm's law, if any, I'm sure there's some electricians out there, they know volts times amps equals watts. We want to calculate how many watts the panel can put out. That's what's important. Not only amps, the amps is how fast it can get it done and how much uh, how much current it can carry, but your watts, that's, that's, your, that's what's going to get your, your uh, battery recharged. So let's go back to full sun and let's turn it down here to amps and let's take a measurement. All right. 
So we're at, oh, I saw a 0 .46. 0 .46 if I get it, if I hold my tongue right, I move it just a little bit, it goes down to 4 point, 0 .44. You see that difference? Just, just that angle of the sun. It's what I really wanted you guys to see. All right. 0.46 amps. All right, let's do it again with some shade. Or no, we'll do the angle, full sun angle. So now we're down to 0.19. Nine. 0.19 amps. All right, now let's do a partial shade at an angle. Look at there. Even if we just come over here and cover the side, you see that? Point, so just that little bit of shade is giving us 0.04. Take it away, goes back up to what? 0.19. Comes a little bit of shade, 0.04. All right, 0.04. Now let's get it angled back up here again. Hopefully, close to a perfect scenario here. Right, 0.46. All right, now let's cast this shadow here. 0 0.11, 0 0.10, 0 0.08. You can see that's not a lot. You get more and it gets, it's going to go 0 0.13, 0 0.14. I hope you guys can see that. We're going to go with 0.14. Now it was full sun, it was angled correctly. 0.14 but there was a branch in the way casting a shadow and it didn't take much I'll do it again full sun look at there just can you see that I hope you can see that just a little bit you can get a little bit more and there we go down to 0.11 we split it kind of in the middle all right let's do some math guys Let's see where the rubber meets the road, all right? 21.5 times 0.46 equals 9.89 watts. Now, it was over 10 just a little while ago, but the sun's going down now. As the sun goes down, it was like early, midday it was, it was like 10.5, and then just about 30 minutes ago it was 10.1. Um, as the sun is going down, it's getting further and further away, and so you're going to you're going to have less solar output. So that's another thing to understand. When they test these things or they rate them, they they rate them at a condition called high solar noon, and that's when the sun is perfectly directly overhead, the panels perfectly facing it. You've got minimal dust in the air, uh, but that's a good example. Four o'clock in the afternoon versus three o'clock in the afternoon, uh, probably half a watt difference right there on full sun. All right, so let's calculate this full sun at an angle. We've got 20.5 times 0 0.19, 3.895, so we'll call that 3.9 watts. And then on partial shade at an angle, 20. 0.1 times 0.04. Not a lot of difference uh, between full sun at an angle and partial sun at an angle or shade, partial shade in an angle, uh, point, uh, point 0.4 volts. But the amps is where the difference is. So we got, that, that gives us 0.804 watts. So your sun's at an angle, late in the afternoon, a little bit of shade on there. And these numbers would be relative if we were at full sun, if we were at high solar noon. They would go up some, but they would still be relative in the relation to how much they're, they're, uh, they've dropped under the different conditions. So 21.1 times 0 0.04, nope, 21.1 times 0 0.14, and now we've got 2.1. 954 watts at this time of the day. Okay, so partial shade 
this is partial partial shade but full sun we had so it's basically a three watt panel it took a 10 watt panel down to a three watt panel uh, partial shade at an angle less than a watt full sun at an angle just shy of four watts so we'll call that four watt panel just because it was it was in full sun it wasn't getting any shade but it it wasn't directly facing the sun and which we know the sun tracks that's why you see in these solar farms you see them with motors on them where they track to get the most efficient they can they don't have any trees on the solar farm either all right so then for uh, full sun blazing sun right on it uh, it at four something in the afternoon what time is it 4 30 in the afternoon so 9.89 watts uh, again just an hour ago i was reading over 10 um, and then it, it full sun in the uh, in the middle of the day it it'll show up close to 11 watts at times so i hope that gives you an idea of how sun and how shade affects your solar panels um, you know will they work in partial sun I do have one right over here. Uh, in fact, I'll go ahead and take the camera and walk over and show you. There's my sun. This is one of the Solar Power Pack 1025s. It's running two Tacticam cameras. Both of them are in instant settings check. It's not getting any sun right now, of course. It's been up for two weeks. Uh, before that, I had one that was up for six months or so, I guess. Um, this one was actually one that I was checking to make sure that it worked. And I charged it fully from the wall. And I've had it out for two weeks running these two cameras, getting pictures of cars and people and everything else walking around. So as you can see, it's keeping up uh, right in there it may get a brief moment of full sun but everything else is filtered again i'm not going to tell you to run your solar panels in the shade um, i just i think that sets me up for failure um, the, the output is definitely reduced and if these cameras were on a feeder or if they were on a uh, a mineral site and they were getting hundreds of pictures a night that thing would probably be dead because it's just not getting enough sun to produce the power to recharge the battery all right guys mike heard 360 thanks for watching this long video i hope i really educated some of you and i hope you have a great day